the first and the most important thing you need to get started on your Make Money Online journey is an anti-detect browser. Why the hell do you need an anti-detect browser? You need an anti-detect browser because all these different websites that offer online gigs are looking out for people who are trying to open multiple accounts, be it Cloud Connect, be it Prolific, be it Outlier. Here's the thing. Whenever you visit a website with your computer and just the normal Chrome browser, what happens is your computer will send out information about the type of computer you're using, the operating system you're using, the RAM that the computer has, the memory that the computer has, your location. As such, when you use a Chrome profile from your computer and you try opening the account multiple times, they can tell, hey, you're the same person who just tried to open an account. As a result, you get banned, you don't get access to the website. Anti-detect browsers solve this whole problem 100%. What happens is when you're using an anti-detect browser, the, the anti-detect browser changes the fingerprint of your browser. It gives you a new identity. It changes the RAM, changes the memory, changes the operating system such that it looks like you are a real, real, real legit user. There are many, and I mean a lot of anti-detect browsers out there. Some are free, some are paid, some are expensive, but... What you're looking for is an anti-detect browser that actually works. I've used many anti-detect browsers. I started out using GoLogin, moved to MoLogin, and now there is a new anti-detect browser king. Why do I keep changing anti-detect browsers? I keep changing anti-detect browsers because from my experience in this making money online field, what happens is when too many people are using a particular anti-detect browser, a pattern starts to emerge. The websites can tell, hey, these three profiles kind of look the same. Hence, they start flagging them off and they start getting very little success. But those that are few, those that are niche, you get a 100% success rate. As such, the one, the current anti-detect browser that has a whole lot of success is multi-login. Now, here is the multi-login homepage. As you can see, the one unfortunate thing about multi-login is that you have to pay to get access to it. Well, although this may look like a bad thing, in reality, it's a really, really good thing. Because that means like only serious people like you and me who are serious about making money online are going to make these patches. As a result, multi-login will continue to be a top, top tier anti-detect browser, continue working with excellent success rate since not too many people are using it. I can just scroll down on the homepage and just have a look. anti detect browser. It also, by the way, has proxies in it when you make a purchase. But I wouldn't depend on those proxies. They are not high quality enough. What happens is, the first time you're using multi-login, what you do is, if you just want to try it for three days, you can go ahead and just try for three days. But when you're ready and serious, you can go to the pricing page and just buy this one, which is for a month, 10 seats, that will be more than enough. But that's actually not the right price. When you choose the, to pay monthly, it's $9 a month. That's not expensive. You will make that back in literally no time if you open any of the accounts that we have discussed in our YouTube channel. Now, I've already made the purchase. What I'm going to do is just log in. This is something really, really cool about multi-login. The fact that you really don't have to download anything because you access it right from the browser. I'm just going to log in. As you can see, I've been using it for quite a bit. So the first time you log in, there are going to be a few things you're going to have to download. First thing you're going to download is the multi-login agent. Yeah. So this particular multi-login agent is this particular app that's going to run. It's basically going to connect the cloud profiles that are saved on multi-login with your computer. And when you first create your profile, when you run it, maybe like launch it, what will happen is that you'll have to download a browser, either Chromium or Firefox based browser, that's going to be the one that's actually running the profile. In this case, for example, the profile is a Chromium based profile and here's the Chromium browser that's running on perfect. What I want to do now is take you step by step, just how to create a profile, how to launch a profile on multi-login. What you do is you just click on new profile. Perfect. Here, give it a name, anything. 
for example, let me say prolific agent X account. I'm just going to put a note for myself. This profile is running fully perfect. Perfect. Then you get to choose the OS. Here in this case, what you need to do is just leave it the default. The default is usually dependent on the computer you're using. If you're using a Mac OS computer, that's going to be the default. If you're using a Windows computer, that's going to be the default, such that you avoid any red flags and your profile looks as genuine as possible. So in my case, since I'm using Mac OS, I'm just going to leave it as Mac OS. Personally, I prefer to just let the profile run in the cloud. Then you can choose either Chromium based or Mozilla based. It doesn't matter if you choose anything. Then here, this is another thing that makes multi-login perfect. What happens is you can choose your profile to have pre-made cookies. So if you're like a normal person who's been using your browser for quite a while, it has saved data about a website, cached information about the website. So this is exactly it. It allows you to look like a really, really genuine user who's just been using it. In this case, if you're targeting a specific website, you can choose that specific website. But in my case, the website I want to open is not in, in listed here. I'm just going to go with mixed websites. That's perfect. And just like that, you create your profile but just before we click on create profile there's something really really important that we haven't looked at which is this whole section of frogs in the next bit of this particular mini course that's what we're going to look into find out what proxy to use the right proxy and then we create our profile